but she out of her poverty has put in everything she had all she had to live on gospel of saint mark chapter 12 verses 44 good morning dear friends in the book of first kings chapter 17 prophet elijah is sent to the widow of sarephath we see there she out of her poverty has treated the prophet so that she could see the wonders of god in her life in today's gospel passage we come across another widow who is being praised by jesus christ in both passages the widows are noticed and they are blessed by god here it is not the poverty that is appreciated and rewarded instead it was the readiness to give what all they have widow represents the poor class in society but their heart is more white so that god made miracles in their life the roof of an old church hall was falling down so the members of the church held regular prayer meetings in the hall after the service to pray for funds to repair the roof there was an old man known to be very tight with his money who used to attend and sit near the back of the hall he could sneak out just before the collection plate came round at the end of life he could sneak out just before the collection plate came round at the end of the prayer meeting one sunday he was held up on his way to the prayer meeting in the hall by the vicar and could only find a seat at the front of the church during the prayer meeting a piece of the roof fell and hit him on the head feeling spoke to by lord he stood up and said lord i will give 1000 rupees a voice at the back of the church was heard to say hit him again lord the widow presented in the gospel can never become rich how a person who has the habit of giving everything can become a rich even if jesus had all the supernatural power to multiply bread or cure the sick and so on jesus was poor throughout his life because he also had the habit of giving everything he had i become a disciple of christ only when i am ready to give myself and what i have to the service of god dear friends today's gospel passage presents before us a call to become poor so that we may see god's wonders in our life god will listen to us we know that nothing can be added to the fullness of anything if there is space there is a scope of adding something god will listen to us and make wonders in our life if we have a little space in our hearts let's meditate